Well, welcome friends. Today we are doing some homemaking. And in that line of homemaking, we are focusing on some cleaning, some beautifying of the home, and also some baking. So get your apron on, get those apron strings tied around your waist, and let's do a little homemaking. Or if you're like me, you can wear your shorts and your dress, your tank top, your dresses, your skirts, whatever you are comfortable in to be a homemaker today. And I want to encourage you today to not be a lazy homemaker. So whether you have kids, whether you're single, whether you're retired, let's just conquer the day together. So I am focusing on cleaning our bedrooms. We have two bedrooms, we live in a small home and always doing laundry. So windows needed a good cleaning. The ceiling fan got wiped down because it's been running constantly in the summer. So I haven't even turned it off to wipe it down. So those dust bunnies were prevalent. And cleaning in the cracks of the windowsill because it's just that time of year where it's almost too hot to honestly open the windows, so they hadn't been wiped down in quite some time. So I'm focusing on the inside of the windows right now, getting the blinds dusted, getting those sills wiped out, and just making sure my home is tidy and clean. While I do some of that, my robot vacuum is running the Vactity T8, which I really enjoy because you can just let it go while you take care of the other business. And also, I need to take care of some canning things. So it's been a beautiful week of canning for me. And that's something, yes, I have a little baby on me. So I just make sure I try to continue to do work. Even if I have a little baby, put him in the carrier and keep doing my work. Putting labels on my canned goods, my pickles, my pickled beets, and my beans. Because then they are prepared and ready to go on the shelves in our food storage room. And that's just it. Like, what I want to say is if we just sit back and hope that things get done, they're not going to get done. We do have to get up. We do have to um, do work every day to keep a tidy home, to prepare food for our families, to prepare food for the future of our families. And I think it's so important to do those tests and to also get people involved. My little girls want to just spray the floor while I wiped it down in our bedrooms and that's great. That's wonderful. I think it's great when they can help and I will honestly ask them or if they prefer not to that day when they're willing and volunteer, I take them up on it. But yes, we need to just make sure we are caring for the spaces we have and maybe lazy is too harsh of a word but sometimes i think the harshness is needed I'm working on the exterior windows now of the house so our patio doors they do get grimy because little girls touch their fingers on it it rains and splashes up there. Our dog gets on there. Our dog hair gets stuck to it. So I wipe my windows down. I try to clean my windows probably six to eight times a year. I have a sister who does it 15 times a year <laughs> if she's capable. But I just think clean windows give me such joy because there's not dead bug splatters all over it. It makes me so happy to see clean windows. And it's just a good way to get outside as well to clean those windows. And this is not the best time of day to clean windows because the sun does make it streaky a little more when you wipe it down. But it was nap time and I needed to get that done. Um, and that was the best time of day I could do. But it's just so satisfying to me. And that's one thing. When you get up and do something, usually you are very satisfied that you did it. It's the motivation to get up and do it that we really need sometimes. Yes, there are days where I know I want to do something and I don't. And that's okay. But there are other days where 
I really wish, oh, I, I didn't take care of this for days and days and days and I need to. So just that little um, push to get things done is all we need. And sometimes, honestly, I watch a YouTube video to get motivated. And um, when they ask you to get up and clean along with it, why not? Or watch a baking video or learn something new and cook with it. There's just always things we can be doing as homemakers to improve our skills too. So this recipe, for instance, is one that I have made before and I think you are going to like it. It is a chocolate zucchini cake recipe that will be over on the blog. I haven't made it for you guys before, but I think it's going to be one you will like, especially during the summer because zucchini literally is um, very prevalent and it's one of those vegetables that you're always looking for something new to put it into. And then I did attempt to make a yogurt cream cheese coconut frosting. So I don't know if that will be on the blog or not or if it'll just be the cake. But anyways, trying something new. I love experimenting with things and just um, learning. And that's part of being a homemaker. You need to learn those new skills and those skills that will get you um, further in your homemaking. Beautifying the home is another thing that I honestly love. And you see me often walk through my flower garden, show you my garden, but it brings me so much joy. And always adding new floral arrangements into my home is something that gives me motivation because I know after I did all that cleaning in the morning and did some baking, I can go enjoy the flowers with my girls, have them help me pick out what I want to put in my arrangements and add these simple touches to my home. Whatever flowers you have, whatever flowers you can get your hands on, put them in your home. It just, it really makes a difference in your home and for you to add that joy and that motivation to um, homemake. So the cake turned out deliciously and it was a new recipe to try and so I just want to encourage you to not be complacent in your homemaking, to be able to get up, to work at improving your homemaking skills and to take care of your home. Thank you.